U.S. and Japanese anti-submarine coalition in the South China Sea for the first time. Japanese and American warships met in the South China Sea on Tuesday for anti-submarine warfare exercises, the first of their kind by the Allies in the contested waters. The guided destroyer USS Miley's and a P-8A Poseidon aircraft met the aircraft carrier JS Kaga and guided destroyer JS Morasame of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force for the training. According to a press release Tuesday from the Japanese Ministry of Defense, Defense. An unidentified Japanese submarine also participated in the exercise. According to photos included in the release, the training is another opportunity for the two navies to work together and increase their knowledge of each other's equipment and training methods, a spokesman for Task Force 71 Lieutenant Commander Joseph Keeley told Stars and Stripes in an email Wednesday. The focus of this exercise is to test each unit's ability to track submarines and work together to do so, he said. Our alliance is strong because of the close interactions that occur through events like this, where we work through shared challenges that underpin security and demonstrate our shared vision of a free and open Indo-Pacific. While the US and Japan routinely train together in the waters around Japan, this is the first anti-submarine warfare the two countries have held in the South China Sea. The training comes as President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping meet in a virtual meeting Tuesday aimed at bolstering the two global competitors and improving relations between them in the region. It also came just after a U.S. nuclear-backed submarine collided with an unnamed underwater sea mount in the Indo-Pacific. While the exact location of the incident has never been made public, an unnamed defense official said it occurred in the South China Sea, according to an October 8 report from U.S. Naval Institute News. The collision sparked from China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In addition to accusing the U.S. of troubleshooting the details of the incident, spokesman Zhao Lijian called it another example of the U.S. creating in the South China Sea freedom of navigation. Beijing's claim to large parts of South China, the sea is largely unrecognized by the U.S. and its allies. The region has become the stage for the show between the U.S. and China in recent years. Keeley said Tuesday's training was not in response to a specific event. The exercise signals further activity between Japan and the U.S. over the next few weeks. The mind-sweeping exercise between the U.S. and Japan was set up November 18th to 28th, according to the Ministry of Defense. Japanese, U.S and French naval drills strike December 15th to 17th around Okinawa-Tarishima, a Japanese-claimed atoll in the Philippine Sea. The training will include the aircraft carrier J.S. Hyuga, the French naval submarine Smeroth, the destroyer USS John S. McCain and the Navy's P-8A Poseidon aircraft. 